Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. So this is a new SwellKit walkthrough video series. Uh, in this series, we'll learn SwellKit by doing a project. Now SwellKit is similar to what Next is for uh, React.js and uh, Next is for Vue.js. So basically what it does is it extends the Swelt uh, framework by providing more features like uh, routing, SSR, content security policy, TypeScript, uh, deployment settings. So this is actually quite nice. Uh, it has something called ad adapters uh, using which you can deploy to almost any platform like uh, Versal, Netlify, Cloudflare, etc. Now, uh, I haven't seen this in other frameworks, but uh, they could probably adopt it. Uh, I don't know. So that's quite nice. Now, SwellKit has reached uh, 1.0, so they released it like a week or two ago, so before Christmas. Now, most of the features uh, that we are going to discuss is going to remain same, but it might change a little bit. And if you're new to Swelt or SwellKit, uh, I would uh, recommend uh, learning it here, which is uh, learn.swelt.dev, where you have this uh, built-in uh, I think it's done through web containers where uh, you, you can go through this and, and learn the concepts of not only Svelte, you can also do SvelteKit, also advanced SvelteKit. Uh, some of these features are uh, not there yet. Uh, I mean, they will be coming soon, but uh, the basic ones are already there. So you, you can, you can uh, I think this would be the best place to learn. Now, in, in, in the series that I'm going to do, uh, the walkthrough series, what we are building is uh, this website, basically. So this is called as a business uh, front page, which includes some basic components like a navigation bar here, a hero here, some content uh, fetched from an API. Uh, this is not, this is actually static right now, but uh, we can fetch it from an API. So there is a footer now there are multiple pages uh, with content and there is also a contact form now this is really simple you will learn pretty much all the basic concepts of uh, how to use uh, swell kit now uh, before we get started it's important that you should have some uh, basic understanding of html uh, css and also a little javascript and uh, you will also need node.js installed your computer and you can use any ID that you prefer. Now with that, uh, we can get started. So I have opened localhost here, which which is which is where the SwellKit website will be served, uh, which is kind of, uh, there is nothing right now. So let's go ahead and create a SwellKit project. So I'm gonna open, uh, I have these uh, terminals open, so I'm gonna use the commands on the first page itself so if you scroll down a little you see this so i'm just gonna copy the entire thing and go here and paste it now instead of my app i'm gonna change it to swelled kit uh, walkthrough maybe so that way our project is different so it, it asks for a few things like if you want a demo app or a skeleton project so i always like to start with uh bare bones so skeleton select skeleton so you, you can just hit on enter for all this i mean it is asking for whether you want v test or prettier all those things so uh, you don't need all those so i'm gonna clear all this uh, and i'm gonna cd into that folder which we just created so we'll get walkthrough now here also i'm gonna do that All right, um, now I'm gonna do npm install. So shortcut is npm i. So it will install all the uh, required dependencies. Now here I'm gonna open my VS Code instance. So I'm gonna move that to, the, to a different window here. Now what you see here is all the files uh, that are there in this project and uh, there should be a node modules directory once this is completed uh, that will also appear here all right uh, we got node modules we also got dot svelte 
type and get so that's where the build files will be uh, you don't need to worry about all these files at this point uh, now installing this is done uh, what I will do here is npm run dev to serve the, the site now this is the link to test the site so which I already have open here I'm going to refresh and it opens this page now where is this page uh, it's here in source routes and page dots okay uh, so we can we can uh, change things and something like uh, welcome to build kit walk through and that should show here so this is it for the first video so we in the next one we'll create some pages thanks guys bye bye